In this video, we're going to be taking a look on how you can programmatically scroll a flat list. So what I mean by that is whenever an event happens in your application, for example, a button click, you may want to trigger a flat list to scroll to a certain position. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. Now this is going to be useful for us because we've been building a drag and drop list. So what I want to do is when I drag an item to the very bottom here, it starts scrolling the list down so I can, for example, uh, drop this at a lower position. So if you want to build this, I'll link the playlist below so you can build this so far. Otherwise, uh, all you need is a flat list to get started with this. All right, so with our flat list over here, the first step is to get reference to it. So we can get reference to it by saying ref and then passing in our reference. So I'm going to call mine this.flatlist. I'm using class component, so I'm going to create a property. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to say flatlist is equal to create ref. Create ref is a function that comes from React. Um, if you're using a function, you can use the use ref hook. Now I'm using uh, TypeScript, so I'm going to uh, specify the type. So the type is a flatlist and the flatless type is of any I'm going to say. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to just add a button and when I click on that button it's going to scroll my flat list for me. Now I'm using a iPhone with a bump up here so I'm going to switch my container to a safe area view and if you've never heard of this component this is something that React Native gives to you and basically it just makes sure there's enough space at the top that the bump at the bottom and the top is not running into anything. Um, and again, that just comes from uh, React Native up here. Okay, so now in my flat list, I'm going to create a list header component. And I'm gonna have a function inside of that and it's going to return a component. The component I'm going to return is a button. And I'm gonna say title, scroll down, and then when we press this, what we're going to do is we're going to say this.flatlist.current. So we're getting access to the reference to the flatlist. And then we have a few different functions available to us. So we can say scroll to end, for example. And this will scroll us to the end of the list. Right? It's going to take us down. Um, we can scroll to a specific index, like maybe the 80th index. Um, oh, I did too much. Oh, it's because I need to pass in an object. Whoops. So index 80. And you can also choose whether it's animated or not. I'm going to say true to animated. So we're going to scroll down. takes us to 80. The one I'm going to be using, though, is the this.scroll to offset. So I'm going to say offset, and this is where we give it like some number of pixel values, say 100. And animated, I'm going to set this to false. That's what we're going to be using. So we can click this. You can see it brings us down a little bit. If I do like 500 pixels, it brings us down more. And you notice it kind of just instantly does it, and that's because we set, set animated to false. True, as you saw, gave us a little bit of an animation as it goes down. So depending on what you're doing, you may want to switch that on and off. So there you go. That is how you programmatically scroll a flat list. Now we're going to apply this to our drag and drop list here. So what I'm going to do is I want to call this scroll to offset function whenever we get to the very bottom of uh, this with our, our item that we're dragging. So I'm going to copy this and we're going to just go inside our request animation frame and at the top we're going to add an if statement to check check if we are near the bottom or top and then we're going to call this function basically the other thing that's good to know about this and I'm just going to remove our list header component is you want to may want to keep track of the um, current scroll position and you can do that by setting on scroll and your flat list and listening to the event and getting the Y content offset. So I'll give you the scroll offset and you can store that say in a variable like we are here. So now in my request animation frame, I'm gonna say if this.current Y 
plus 100, for example. So this is an arbitrary threshold. So if we were to increase this value, we'd be able to scroll closer to the bottom. And you'll see this will make more sense in a second. This is greater than this dot flat list height. So this is a value that I want to grab right now. So in our on layout here, I'm going to say this dot flat list height. And I'm going to create this variable up here. Flat list height is equal to zero by default. And whenever the flat list lays out, we want to get the height of it. So native vent dot layout dot height. Um, so basically what we want to check is if the current Y position is getting close or in, is even above the flat list height if we add 100 to it. So that means we're getting close to the bottom. So when that happens, what I want to do is I want to say this dot current offset or the scroll offset and add some number to it. So for example, five. And then I'm going to set animated to false. So now what's going to happen is as my Y gets closer to the bottom, we're eventually going to hit a threshold. And when we hit that threshold, you'll notice we start scrolling. And so we're just continuously calling the scroll to offset and we're slowly scrolling down. So now what we can do is we can play with these two numbers to change how, the th how it works. So if I want to scroll faster, I can say plus 20 there. And you'll notice we're now scrolling at a faster speed. Um, I can also play with what the threshold is. So let's say like 500. So that means I don't have to go as far down the page. You'll notice how when I'm dragging this, it triggers dragging down about halfway through. So depending on what we use as our threshold, that gets us lower um, here. Now I want to do the same thing as I go up. I want to scroll up. So how can I do that? So here I can say else if, and we can say this dot current y is less than 100. So it's getting close to zero, getting close to the top can use this same scroll to offset. And now we're just gonna subtract 20. And again, you can play with this number if you want to scroll up faster. So I'm gonna scroll down and I can just scroll myself. And now we can come up here and we can scroll up or we can scroll down. And there we go, our drag and drop now is a bit more functional because now we can go to any position in our list. And then we can just drop it wherever we want to. So there you go, that is how you can scroll a flat list up and down and one of the use cases is with a drag and drop list, we can do that when the item gets close to one of the positions.